I can ever tell you how much I appreciate this church and the people in it. All of you people. All of you people. I appreciate every single person in this church. You've made me feel at home. And when God brought me here, you welcomed me in. Now, Saturday night, I was very upset. I had gotten some pretty bad news. And I spoke with Brother, Brother Rhodes, and he spoke with Brother Marlowe. And the next thing you know, they're calling me up there to get a prayer cloth for Absolutely. my son. Yeah. And everybody that was here that night, I believe, was praying. Everyone was in one mind and one accord, and they prayed for my son, who doesn't come very often because he's extremely shy. But when I went home with this prayer cloth, and he was asleep, I woke him up. I scared him. I woke him up, and he didn't know what I was doing, and I said, the church prayed for you and sent this prayer cloth to you. And I laid it right on his neck, on his right carotid artery. Because I wanted the prayers to go where they needed to go. And I knew they would. Well, anyway, he felt a little better. Yesterday was a pretty good day. We got up very early this morning, 3.30. But anyway... He, when he went into the surgery, he was very nervous, which is, you know, that, that's reasonable, but he knew. And the last thing I said to him before they rolled him into surgery was I kissed him on the cheek and I said, I love you and Jesus loves you and just call on his name and he'll take care of you and you're going to be just fine. Praise God. Well, when, I don't know, those ones of you that saw him Sunday night when he came, know that he was very, very pale and very tired looking. Tonight, he is not pale. He's got good color. And I know that Brother Farias, Brother Marlowe, Brother Rose, and Brother Les, and Brother Butch, they were all up there. So you know how good he looked when you went up to see him. It's... It's looking pretty possible that he will go home tomorrow. Well, praise God. I don't know for sure, but he, he's probably going to go home tomorrow. And he may not even have to take Coumadin anymore, which is a good thing. So I'm just so thankful to God, and I'm thankful for all the prayers that have gone up for him. And it's, it's just it's just wonderful. I just can't say enough. I'm so pleased because he's my son. And I thank you all for that. Amen. 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 Amen.